And good afternoon, everybody. It's Coda back here from Amazing ATS Kenworth. How's it going today? And right now we are sitting down here in Yuma. We've got the W900 back out again. We've got it dressed up in a large car and the Chicken Hauler Association. So definitely tons of lights. We do have the Frosty mod back in again from Grimes. We are getting closer to Christmas. So we definitely do want to see some snow on the ground. And we've got our first load, and it is going over to Santa Fe. We do have a load of ice cream. And the paint job today is available on the Steam Workshop. We have a gray metallic along with some orange striping. So without any further waiting, we're going to hop in. We're going to get the good old come apart, fired up, 600 horsepower, 18-speed transmission. And we're going to get our butts on the road. Yeah, multiplayer is really being a royal pain in the butt. I mean, I have never seen them take this long in order to get an update out for a game. I guess I didn't see that car. Um, my bad. Oh yeah, that reefer is crumpled in right now. Uh, that's because uh, coming out of there, of course, you cannot see at all. Dejan, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream today. That's why I haven't been uh, playing multiplayer at all, is uh, basically because they are refusing to update it, and ETS2 is literally anything goes wrong and it's fixed within an hour. And granted, I understand also that the majority of Truckers MP player base is Europe based and they do play ETS2. So I definitely understand it, but them totally forgetting about ATS, so totally wrong. Oh, I'm not either. I saw that little notice today of what had happened.
they're going to throw a winter mod in for ATS too. I still don't understand what's taking them so long in order to get it updated for the newest version. Hey, Mr. Iron Man, how is it going? Oh, you know, doing uh, pretty old fine here on a Tuesday afternoon evening. Yes, we are. We are totally ranting because they are totally forgetting about the American players. Like, like you said, Kenworth, I am not going to downgrade just in order to jump on to multiplayer. It is not worth my time. It is not worth my effort. the development thread on the website because people were bitching. So another thing also, my computer, my well, the new computer that I bought just turned into a really great deal. I had bought the computer around the beginning of the month, on December 2nd, I believe. And Sunday's Best Buy ad that, well, yes, I bought it at Best Buy because I did not feel like building it or dealing with uh, OEMs or manufacturers for any warranty issues. So the computer on Sunday got $150 knocked off of it. Best Buy's uh, price match is within 15 days. If the price drops, you can always call and request the, the difference of the price back. Well, needless to say, the computer went on sale on Sunday for $1,099. I paid $1,249 for it. So I do have a $150 check coming from Best Buy here within the next week or so.
I am not complaining at all about getting $159 back from the original purchase. I just uh, kind of went the wrong way. Hey, J Dog, how's it going? actually hey Justin long time no see and how did you mess up Valerie, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. a Kenworth mod, isn't it, Kenny? Kenworth? Bought a Kenny, how about that? figure out how to add mods Justin you really do not forget the first time that you do it is like I'm gonna go crazy and pull my hair out because this is not working uh, same horn as always Valerie we've got the Grover train horns on today
get a stock interior along with a colored backlight mod for the green and then also the Neo dashboard. Both of those are available on the Steam Workshop. And also on the truck today is the W900 accessory pack from Allen. It does add some different stack options along with different bumpers and then you will also see some air filter lights also. I'm just not talking about the base ones to where you get the yellow ones in the front. These actually add the red bars on the back side of the air filters. Did your gamer break something, Justin? for these turns otherwise I'm going to be crashing all over the place. No, 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 Iron Man. Oh crap. And there we go. My game just crashed. Uh not good. Give me a moment here, guys. Yeah, that was a little unfortunate. I did not expect my game to crash. Yes, I did, Justin. Alright, I wonder where this is going to drop us at. Oh, all the way back here in Phoenix. Oh, and my shifter is screwed up, so give me a moment here. Well, that was totally unexpected having to reset everything like that. Now let's hope it works again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I am so not sure why my game crashed. No 
harm done. All right, you take care, Justin. I did see a new version of Coast to Coast came out recently. It's now up to 2.3.5, I believe. My home garage is Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now, if we're talking about the real world, I am located in Pennsylvania. How's it going, gamer? Please no more sudden crashes because that royally stunk. Awesome like a possum. No, this isn't your truck, Iron Man. This is mine. I don't mean... I wouldn't want to drive yours. They're all wrecked and everything from the way I've seen you drive. Las Cruces isn't overly big and it's not overly small either. They're beautiful after the garage fixes them. Understand, Truckers MP doesn't ban you for no reason. Yeah, 
yes, this is the Grimes Frosty Winter Weather Mod. drop this load in Santa Fe I'm actually gonna hop in and turn up the weather because I do want it to snow you would be surprised for those who live up in Alaska on a warmer day say 0 to 10 or whatever there are actually people riding around with their convertible tops down going the wrong way again. Way to go, Coda. Iron Man, thank you for the host. And Valerie, I don't play any music in my streams because I do not want a copyright strike. Yes it is, this is the Grimes Frosty Winter Weather Mod. Yes, I almost wrecked. That's because I'm not paying attention. I'm looking over at the chat, which I'm looking out of the corner of my eye. It's on my one of my monitors. And basically, it's I'm surprised I can keep up with it. not because I don't have any of the flag mods. Plus, I'm a Yankee anyway, so having a re rebel flag kind of doesn't work for me. between the lines. You are surfing all over the place today. This is what happens when I don't play ATS for a day. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm running the SESW900. That would be great if they did Iron Man. take bets that I get pulled into the New Mexico chicken coop. Uh, between all of my profiles, I'm over half a million. And I'm closing in on a thousand hours in-game. With the sound mod that I'm using, it actually sounds like a uh, pretty much an air horn. Dark Knight is just a 53-foot reefer trailer on the for the wagon today. I was going to take a load that went out of Hornbrook, California over to, uh, where was it going? It was either Albuquerque, Santa Fe, or Las Cruces. It was like around 1,450 miles, and I'm sitting there going, nah, that's going to take a good hour and a half in order to do. That's one thing that they really need to do now that they have random events is I would love to have the cops pull you over and take like an hour of the time or whatnot and actually write you a ticket instead of just popping up on the heads up display that you got a speeding ticket. Welcome back, Kenworth. I had...
have an outlaw Peterbilt 379 that if I throw a specific uh, Cummins into the engine for the engine, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, the next big thing that I really am hoping for is trailer ownership. I mean, you could have either a flatbed, a reefer, a dry box. I mean, that's been one of the most requested features of the game, basically. It was back in 18 Wheels of Steel in that series, which SCS did make. Why they didn't include it in this, I have no idea. Hey, Martin, how's it going? I mean, right now, if anyone ever wants to practice maneuvers, they basically have to grab a load, and it's going to cost them $12,000. So, you add in trailer ownership, you're going to be able to back up, you're going to be able to practice turning and, and whatever else without having it cost you with the exception of fuel. Well, potholes would be amazing. And I've been on Interstate 40 in Arkansas, I'm not how not sure how it is now <coughs> excuse me but back when I went across it it was one of the bumpiest roads in America Don't get me wrong, Pennsylvania 80 used to be pretty bad too. They've got that pretty well sorted out now. So I, I have no idea if 40 through Arkansas is still that bad or not. If you hit a deer with a truck in real life, Basically, you will rip the deer in half and liquefy any muscle or organs. That is how bad it is. So if you ever see a big old red spot on a road, you're automatically going to know that that was an animal that got liquefied. Well, right now our Great Dane, Wabash, there's so many uh, trailers out there that they could actually make from what they currently have, they would just need the licensing. Uh, what you're gonna did you download the old engine uh, pack for Viper's Mod Martin? Now I've actually seen this here on the interstate in Pennsylvania. I've seen a truck hit a black bear. The bear went flying, got up, looked at the truck, and then walked away.
when we get here to Santa Fe 2, I've got to fix this seat. I'm sitting way over to the right for some odd stupid reason. Several, a couple in a car, and I did hit one in a truck. just bug fixes in the new version so what you'd want to do is just download the new version throw it into your mod folder remove the old one and then reload your save game and everything should be fine and with random events Valerie that is a possibility I mean, granted, right now they are static, but there is movement in them. And then we do have the blowing tumbleweeds, so who knows what's going to happen. I'm still curious what uh, the Christmas gift is going to be that SCS is going to be dropping on us. one of the uh, feet of my chair right by my pedals and it's like uh, no you cannot drive like that Coda Use prohibited? Uh, nope, not for this guy. happened a few minutes later
Yeah, you had a fascination with Jersey Barriers, Iron Man. Is the Roadrunner Express going to be coming through while we're sitting here? I believe that's still on video in one of the past ones. I'm not sure what date that was, but I do remember that. Uh, with what, Martin? Oh, Jesus, Coda. You, wrong thing. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Didn't mean to adjust these mirrors back to default. Yeah, this is what I want at default, because um, for some odd reason, I hate, I was not liking how I was sitting there. <laughs> ah, there we go. That is much better. Ah, let's see. What was I going to do once I got here besides that? My mind is like nowhere today. Yes, that's it, J Dog. Thank you. That's right, I got to turn the weather up. All right, there we go, and let's get our next job. And nope, I'm staying in the W900.
Uh huh. All right. Uh, what should we take here, guys? We've got a covered wagon going up to jackpot. That is a hot load due in roughly about two days, but we'll we should be able to make that. We've also got some cars, the Phoenix. We can also take a hot load down to Arteza and haul for Fedrex. Ah, that sounds like covered wagon, or is that uh, or is that J Dog being Iron Man? RK, how's it going? Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Oh, let's take a let's take a long one. We're gonna take a covered wagon up to Jackpot. We're gonna pick up here at BHP Billiton, going up to Dole Farms. On what music? Um, actually, the music, my uh, beginning of the sound music, the break and the end, those are all from a, another video game, and I have them, and I actually have the music linked uh, down in uh, my videos, too. And here I am trying to drive while talking and turning. Oh, look at this. All right, we've got the uh, Roadrunner Express coming through. Oh, that's in-game music. I've never gotten a copyright strike for that. Now, say I start playing some of the music that I listen to, uh, then yes, if it's not linked and I don't have permission, then yes, I will get a copyright strike. just got myself a driving award. Uh, yeah, uh, def the one time I was actually streaming with Bullet and I threw on CW McCall Convoy, I actually got a copyright strike on that one. But it got a notice that I was demonetized for the video and that I was granted permission to use it so they did not block out the sound from the video. And no, I do not try to over rev the engines. I mean, granted, I could go up to 2000 if I wanted. Most of the time, I'm shifting anywhere from 15 to 1700 RPM. Now, if I'm skipping gears with a load on, I'll go from first to third. You'll see me shift at like 18, 1900 RPM. Welcome back, Kenworth.
And a lot of people, when they're driving, they will try to hit every single gear. That is not needed. profiles are perfect. I've at least gotten tickets and accidents on at least every single one of them. Now I could granted start over and I could make it to where I would have fines disabled and collisions and all that turned off, but I don't want to do that. Alright, we're gonna pick up our trailer here and need a how heavy is this load? 45,000 pounds so we really don't need the extra axles so we're just gonna go with something here let's take a look and see what we can find and of course these aren't gonna have any orange in them or anything so uh, we want something really weird today let's go ahead and pull this one here or do we want to use the shorter covered wagon? Should we go for a ton of axles too or not? Uh, how about the blue? Uh, we're gonna go with black then And yes, I'm going the wrong way for a reason because the trailer is right in the middle over here So there's a good look at the paint job on the truck. Kind of hard to see that when it's going down the road, but we've got a metallic silver along with some orange striping. What did you need again, Martin? I'm sorry, I missed your message.
Well, how about this? We're in a nice little cluster here. stop and just so I can get the heck out of here I have not Valerie and Martin, you said something about your mods, if, if I remember. I remember seeing the message. I don't remember exactly what it said. Welcome back, Iron Man. They should add those and then put a uh, onto one of the oversized loads. It's granted, it's probably not going to be overly heavy, but a skid steer. This mod is not on the Steam Workshop, Kelly. It is the Grimes Frosty Winter mod. Just search for that on Google. It will take you right to his WordPress page in order to download it. Oh. Uh, for that one, Martin, you want to put the fix above the mod for for that for that XL.
Falls I'm waiting for is it to start snowing. actually is a trailer mod that has logs on it and that mod does work in multiplayer also Yes, I did. I've got that the rain probability about halfway up now. for begging guys but if you are watching on YouTube and you are enjoying the live stream today make sure that you give it a thumbs up and let me know that you are enjoying the content well I could change that really quickly being left lane Larry right now. Because heaven knows once I get into Nevada on the north side of Vegas since we're going up to Jackpot, that's going to be all two lane roads so I'm going to get behind slow vehicles. I want to make some time since we are on a hot load. What I usually do with my mod load order is the things that I want to hear, like your sound mods and map mods, you want them to have the highest priority. Your trucks and your skins, if you're going to be running any, those can be have lower priority since those are not going to make a difference. But your map and sound mods, you do want those to have the highest priorities.
have not. What is Kenworth? I must have missed what you said. Uh, that would mean that your front axles are off the ground. Is there an 8x4 option on that? That sucks, Kenworth. Well, nothing like waiting until I'm right here to, in order to pull me in. because you don't know how to merge. Yet, it is, but a lot of people will not do it, especially for if they're around anybody, because that air horn can scare the living daylights out of people. That sounds like something might be wrong with the Mod Kenworth. That's going to be your depth of field. If you turn it off, you're not going to have any blurriness on things in the distance. They'll just kind of pop in. And otherwise, if you turn on depth of field, you're going to have things that look blurry off in the distance. And yay, it's snowing. I cannot see out of that right mirror. Yeah, 
I just wish that this changed the physics to where you could actually slip and slide on the roads. Unfortunately, this mod doesn't do that. Nope, oh, this is Snow Valerie. And there is some doofus sitting right there with a convertible running around 23 degrees outside and snowing. Not that I know of, Martin. And I know that truck and trailer is on the Steam Workshop. Take a look and then uh, it will give you the last update on the day it was updated. I don't, I'm not subscribed to the mod so I couldn't tell you for sure. Search Grimes, G-R-I-M-E-S, Frosty Winter Weather Mod on Google, and it'll take you right to the download page. It does have the option for 379 headlights in it too along with uh, 359s and I believe he's got some outlaw lights also I have no idea Iron Man Roger that, you be safe Iron Man. Southern Hell because it's addicting for one.
ESMods.LT. Oh, next date is probably going to be Oregon. point of the game is not to crash and I am a former professional driver so that's probably not going to happen Southern. is why I'm going to be thinking we're going to go Oregon. We might even get Washington with it, but I wouldn't count my eggs in that same basket. And then we're probably going to hit Washington and then Utah. And then we might start getting down, going east into Texas. You take care, RK.
you're welcome, Valerie. It definitely gets rid of the yellowish of the game. When I first started, I mean, I crashed a ton. Uh, now that I'm pretty much back to where it was how I was driving, except I'm not sitting right in the cab on my own, I really don't have any problems with crashing anymore. If I'm going to crash anywhere now, it's to where we go from a four lane down into a two lane and the cars will just either cut me off or run right into the side of my trailer. lights on the tractor that we have today of course we are part of the chicken hauler association There's a Peterbilt 251 351 floating around out there somewhere. I have not seen a 359 though. This is actually pretty good, to be honest with you. Well, B 
being a former driver, a large car such as the one that I'm in, a Kenworth W900, owner operators especially, uh, trucks that are not governed have a lot of chrome and a lot of lights on them, and that's what they call a chicken hauler. Search for Grimes Frosty Winter Weather Mod Kenworth and you will find it. It, I believe it's grimes.wordpress.com I believe. That's just off the top of my head but don't quote me. Frosty Winter Weather Mod. It's version 2.2. You're going to want your engine uh, engine mods above the trucks, Martin. I keep trucks and skins at the bottom of my mod list, accessories in the middle, say if they like light packs and things along that nature, and I keep sewn and matte mods at the top. Bomb version 2.7. Mm. It does not, unfortunately, Milo. Now the AI traffic does slow down when it's uh, snowing out just to be just so you know what to look forward to. truck stopped right in front of me and uh yep there's an accident if anyone wanted to see it now you can go mister come on go 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 They are not the same Valerie.
Uh, if they start adding seasons, then more than likely we will we will see it. But it's going to be a complete overhaul of their environment systems. Right. I would imagine whatever their surprises, they are still working on it. I just wish they would give us an idea of what it is. Now, the W900 Long Remix has a, one of the ARI sleepers on the back of it. It's like a 300 inch sleeper or something like that, so the truck itself is very, very long. Uh, the funny part where I live at is I live down in a valley so I mean we get snow here but I, I go up uh, on Thursday nights I go to a town about a half hour away for my bowling league and I go across a mountain so we get it around October or so and it can be raining down in the valley we get up on top of that mountain and it is snowing have any idea
probably the Freightliner FLB. Those if I use a Martin are usually kept in the middle where I keep accessories at. The way I keep mine is I use map mods at the highest priority or environment mods such as the one I'm running today. Then I have sound mods and then engine mods. Well, engine mods and then sound mods. And then below that I will have accessories such as bumpers, lights, traffic mods. And then at the bottom I will keep trucks and, and uh, skins. Well, the truck traffic pack that I'm running right now, version 1.8, that's near the bottom of my mod list. I could play without mods, the only ones that I would really want to add in would be sound mods.
there was a link floating around on one of the videos that I found it on. I don't remember the exact link any longer.
Welcome back, Iron Man. And Kenworth, welcome back. Were you able to find the mod? Welcome back, Valerie. Uh, just me making a left hand turn, basically.
offense to the elderly, but some people, especially <coughs> AI, <coughs> do not know how to drive in snow. Mind it, Valerie. That's all my dad used to listen to. Yes, they can. As long as you have enough room to do it, it's not a problem at all.
does it no longer work, Iron Man? I mostly drove a Freightliner FLD 120. Here we go. We're just going to take some Rocky Mountain doubles here over to Walmart in Elko. It's, it's a night you don't have to do it, but nearly everybody does as it's a, uh, it's kind of like a warning. It lets people know that you are backing up and that you are a kind of a moving hazard. That might have something to do with the Kenworth.
when I drove, I actually did Walmart dedicated. I mean, most of the, the docks are in the back of the store, so, and the trucks have their own separate entrance to get back to there, so that's why it's not required. It's not rare to see them. They're grocery warehouses. That's where 99% of their reefer trailers are going to be at. So the produce and all the frozen food, uh, those are all delivered by reefer trailers as everything needs to be temperature controlled. Just like all most of the regular Walmart trailers, their reefers have roll-up doors in the back so the drivers really do not need to exit the vehicles to pull the doors open.
Yep, they still have those trailers. I mean, a Great Dane or Wabash makes it for them, but it, they still have those specific trailers. Brian is good, yes. But probably my favorite country song right now is Keith Urban and Wasted Time. If I'm playing and not streaming, I have a bunch of music that's loaded into the music folder for the game and I will just sit and listen to music and drive. I missed it.
I just copy and paste, really. It's in your uh, documents folder to where you would put your mods at. There is a music music folder in there. And Martin, give me one second. Let me uh, hop out of the game for a moment and see if I can find that fix for you. There's the link for you, Martin. And just like real life, Valerie, you do not back up doubles or triples or Rocky Mountain doubles. I mean, granted, yes, some people will do it, but 99% of the time, you are not backing those up unless you are separating the trailers from the converter dollies. Alright, so what I'm doing here is, as we were discussing mods earlier, so pretty much I'm not running any map mods on this profile, so we've got the winter weather mod, I've got my air ride seat, and then we've got all my sound fixes here are up at the top. And the reason why everything is above the sound fixes pack is because I want those heard instead of the ones in the sound fixes pack. We get down here into the middle, and here are all my accessories. Which I really don't need top corner F2 mirrors anymore since I've got track IR. So all my accessories here in the middle, light packs, dashboards, the Wayland Liberty mo uh, light bar mod that I use for beacons. Then we get down here to the bottom, we've got all the skins and my trucks. And then there is a couple of trailers here also. And this is the current skin that I'm running. It's the Orange Stripe Metallic Gray W900 that is available on the Steam Workshop. So once the video does get processed, if you want to see what mods that I'm running, you guys can go ahead and pause the videos and then be able to take a look and get the names of them. You can do a Google search for them. A good majority of my mods do come off of the Steam Workshop, but some of them, however, are from third-party mod sites. So and now you guys are probably wondering, how am I able to run two different dashboard mods at the same time? Well, that is quite simple. So, here's the dashboard mods that I am currently running. So, I, for the Neo mod here, I want that above so that dash displays there. And then we've got the dashboard Kenworth W900. Put below that so that way I have the green dials along with everything else. So basically, if you want to run multiple interior mods, you need to pay attention to the load order and stack them so everything will display properly. And it's like here, so we've got the board computer for the 680 and then I have a dashboard mod for that also.
And I do need to take a break, guys. So I do want to thank you for joining me here on the stream this evening. If you did enjoy the stream, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are watching on YouTube. My name is Coda. The channel's name is Amazing ATS. We will see you guys on the flippity flop. <laughs>